It's not unusual for people to think that electrostatic electricity is only a trivial, very low power home entertainment type of thing. That is not correct. Paul Bowman designed and built two major electrical generators, one of two kilowatt output and the second of three kilowatt output, to allow a Swiss commune to have the use of electrical equipment without having a mains electricity supply. The commune refuses to provide any design information, saying that people like you and me are not ready to have that kind of energy. How very helpful of them. Paul's design is electrostatic and starts with the Wimshurst machine electrostatic generator, one which has angled motor strips which make it become self-rotating. The design is apparently very simple, but it's been a very difficult to reproduce that particular design without any direct information from Paul. The collector brushes on the front and rear faces of the spinning disc collect charge, and although the design has never been disclosed, it has constant power output of 300 volts at 10 amps, which is 3 kilowatts. So much for electrostatic electricity being only trivial. We need to take the William Hyde design seriously. It is best described by his patent, a slightly reworded version being shown here. The patent describes a device which can be a little difficult to visualize and so some color shading of parts has been used to help matters. Essentially, it is two circular motor driven rotors spinning inside a section of plastic pipe. These rotors generate electrostatic energy which people have mistakenly been led to believe is not a source of significant power. This design by William Hyde has an electrical output which is some 10 times greater than the mechanical input energy required. A coefficient of performance of 10, results like this device has, has to be significant, especially since the device is a fairly simple construction. However, just before taking a look at the patent, it will be useful to have a broad outline description of what it is and how it works. The device has an, extern an external power source which is connected to opposite ends of the generator. No current is drawn from this source as its only purpose is to cause a disc at one end to have positive charges all across its face and an opposing disc at the far end of the generator to have negative charges all across its face. As you can see here, this, the face at this end has got positive charges all over it and the face at this end has got negative charges all over it. Then the motor which is in the middle of this construction which is a fairly small construction, spins the two discs shown in green and yellow at high speed, picking up charge from the local environment, positive charge opposite the negatively charged plate and negative charge opposite the positively charged plate. These charges are passed on to circuitry which lowers the voltage, which is around 300,000 volts, and raises the current to perhaps 38 amps. The result is a generator which is very, very different to running a plastic comb through your hair and picking up some scraps of paper with the resulting electrostatic charge. Yes, this high generator uses electrostatic electricity as the input power, but the output is kilowatts of normal electricity. There are some interesting details at rimstar.org uh, which you can get to through this um, pointer link. This is the patent here. It's US 4897592 
issued on the 30th of January 1990, which is some 30 years ago, the inventor being William W. Hyde. The abstract says, externally charged electrodes of an electrostatic generator induce charges of opposite polarity on the segments of a pair of confronting stators by means of electrical fields within which a pair of rotors are confined during rotation to vary the charge binding field linkages between the confronting rotors and stators by a shielding action of the rotors in a plane perpendicular to the field flux. A high electrical potential difference induced between the stators resulting from such rotation of the rotors is transformed by an output circuit into a reduced DC voltage applied to a load with a correspondingly increased current conducted through it. The patent lists one, two, three, four, five, six different um, patents which have been issued which use the same style of uh, electrostatic input energy and ordinary electricity output. The description says this invention relates to the generation of electrical power by conversion of energy from an electrostatic field. The conversion of energy from a static electric field into useful electrical energy by means of an electrostatic generator is already well known in the art as exemplified by the disclosures in US patent numbers 25221063013201415104109 generally the energy conversion process associated with such prior art electrostatic generators involves the input of mechanical energy to separate charges so that a considerable portion of the output is derived from the conversion of mechanical energy. It is therefore an important object of the present invention to provide an electrostatic generator in which electrical power is derived from the energy of static electric fields with a minimized input of mechanical power. Now this particular patent to my eye is something that takes steady and careful reading over a period of time. But plowing on down through it, it's, we go to the brief description of the drawings. It says these and other objects and features of the present invention will become apparent from the following description taken in conjunction with the preferred embodiments thereof with reference to the accompanying drawings in which like parts or elements are denoted by the same reference numbers throughout all of the different views shown in the drawings and where figure one is a simplified electrical circuit diagram corresponding to the electrical conversion system of the present invention. He shows two variable capacitors there representing the two rotor disks and this has been supposedly a motor where the drive of the motor spins these two disks. The two disks generate uh, or collect if you prefer charges in considerable density which are then passed through a couple of diodes to a resistor load uh, and that's from both sides, from both rotors. This is the representation that he uses with the, this particular device. This is a diagram of the device itself. It's a side view section of an electrostatic generator. Um, you have the two charge plates at each end, plus and minus. You have the motor in the middle, which spins the two rotor disks 
and um, sorry, the, the two rotor discs are shown on the, the outside here. Um, that is the general style of construction suggested for this. The um, things shown here in figures 3 and 4 are the views that you would see if you were to chop this diagram straight down there and look in this direction. So the 3 designates the cross-sectional view that you will see for a uh, diagram or figure 3 and the same for figure 4 which passes down through the uh, ball bearing uh, which is used to support the shafts of the motor the motor being securely mounted already to a fixed pipe inside this thing this is uh, a cylindrical device so these are the views that you would see or partial views that you would see on those two sections of the previous drawing you need to spend some time working through the description of these drawings to understand what he's talking about in the way of charge and transfer of charge it comes on finally then to this very important uh, circuit here which is designated as, as item 30 the entire thing is called item 30 and you have the charged discs produced on each side feeding through six diodes and three capacitors to give an output there and the same on the other side with six diodes and three capacitors giving an alternative output at this side so this is a power enhancing circuit which lowers the voltage and increases the current and as such it's an important thing come then to the detailed description of the preferred embodiment of this particular design and as I say the discs are being spun and the rectified output is being fed to a load which is shown in red there are two loads because there are two rotors and the way that it operates so I will leave you to plow through the description in the patent yourself but just understand this that this is a very serious piece of equipment that can produce the sort of output that can run an entire household once you get it up and running uh, it is a simple and straightforward design in general outline in these particular diagrams here the dark grey lines represent the, a division between the metallic sectors between those dividers that gives you like the Wimshurst machine a series of triangular metal uh, components which are being rotated in an electrostatic field and it explains in the patent exactly how each particular component works uh, I'm not saying that it's particularly easy to uh, read and understand but I'm saying that it's not worth trying to read through something like that for this sort of a pres presentation he says finally though based on the foregoing operational characteristics rotation of the rotors in accordance with the present invention does not perform any substantial work against the external electric fields and since there is no net charge in sorry there is no net change in capacitance thereby enabling the system to convert energy with a reduced input of mechanical energy and at high efficiency as evidenced by minimal loss of charge on the electrodes it was therefore found that working embodiments of the present invention require less than 10 percent of the electrical output energy for their mechanical input further according to one prototype model of the invention a relatively high output voltage 
of 300,000 volts was obtained across the stators. By reason of such high voltage, an output circuit number 30 having a voltage reducing and current multiplying attribute as already described was selected so as to render the system suitable for many practical applications which is as good as way as any of saying in a patent that this is something that can actually run a household. <laughs>